NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are among the few people in history to experience both of today's advanced spacesuits, Boeing's Blue Star liner suit and SpaceX's Starman suit. After launching to the ISS in Boeing Blue, they unexpectedly found themselves stranded in orbit due to technical issues with the Starliner spacecraft. Months later, their long-awaited return to Earth came aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon, this time wearing the sleek, futuristic Starman suit. Both suits are built to protect astronauts in extreme environments, but which one truly leads the way for the future of space travel? Let's find out in today's episode of Tech Map. To begin, we should distinguish clearly between the IVA suit and the EVA suit. IVA, intravehicular activity, suits, and EVA, extravehicular activity suits, serve distinct purposes based on their environments. IVA suits are designed for use inside a pressurized spacecraft during launch, flight, and re-entry. They are lightweight, comfortable, and focused on mobility within the spacecraft providing protection during emergencies like cabin depressurization or temperature changes. In contrast, EVA suits are built for use outside the spacecraft, during spacewalks or planetary exploration. These suits are bulkier and more complex, equipped with advanced life support systems, thermal management, micrometeoroid protection, and mobility features to handle harsh space environments. NASA's EMU suits and SpaceX's EVA suit for Polaris Dawn are examples of EVA suits. Overall, IVA suits prioritize comfort and flexibility inside spacecraft, while EVA suits focus on survival and functionality in the vacuum of space. The Boeing and SpaceX suits we mentioned in the introduction are IVA suits. First of all, let's talk about Boeing's blue IVA suit. I really like these suits, Williams said emphasizing the flexibility of Boeing's IVA suit. She explained, We worked with the company, David Clark, through Boeing to get the suit squared away for us. I think they're really nice. For astronauts who once had to endure NASA's bulky, less maneuverable suits, the comfort of newer designs is attractive. Boeing's Starliner spacesuit places a strong emphasis on custom fit, ensuring each astronaut gets an optimal size. Currently available in five standard sizes, the suit also offers 10 boot size options for further customization. Williams particularly appreciated this tailored approach, achieved through Boeing's collaboration with David Clark Company, a firm with deep roots in aerospace technology. This American manufacturer has an impressive history of designing pressure suits, life support systems, and spacesuits for various NASA missions including the Red Bull Stratos project and the Constellation spacesuit system. NASA has praised the Star Liner suit's lighter weight, an aspect that significantly enhances astronaut mobility. For comparison, launch and entry suits worn by space shuttle crews weighed around 30 pounds, 13.7 kilograms, whereas Boeing's version comes in at just 20 pounds, 9 kilograms. But weight isn't the only improvement. The suit's enhanced flexibility is achieved through innovative joint designs, including movable elbow and knee materials and strategically placed zippers. These aren't just ordinary zippers, they feature double rows of plastic teeth, ensuring secure pressurization while minimizing bulk. Boeing first introduced its spacesuit in 2017, packed with modern features like a wraparound glass helmet and touchscreen sensitive gloves both designed to enhance astronaut performance. And the best feature? The visor. According to Tori Wills Pedrotti, Boeing's Starliner spacesuit lead, the real game changer is the visor. It has a really extreme field of view. When you're inside the suit, you can turn your head completely from side to side and see all the way around here. So the field of view from this visor is quite amazing. This integrated visor provides astronauts with a much broader view compared to past suits, which had restricted visibility due to bulkier helmet designs. The Starliner suit has gloves optimized for touchscreen operation, 
strategically placed vents to regulate temperature and pressure, and a simplified control system featuring only two essential valves in the belly area. These advancements make Boeing's Starliner spacesuit one of the most promising designs for future space missions. However, Boeing isn't stopping here. After the current version flies aboard the crew flight test, a new iteration by ILC Dover will replace it, introducing even further advancements in its suit technology. While Boeing's David Clark suit stands out with its distinct blue color and plastic tooth zippers, SpaceX's Starman suit brings a completely different aesthetic. It looks like something straight out of a superhero movie. And that's no coincidence. The superhero spacesuit was designed by Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, renowned for his work on blockbuster films like Batman Vier of Superman and Captain America Civil War. This design philosophy sets it apart from past decades' bulkier, more utilitarian spacesuits and even Boeing's Starliner IVA suit. One of the most striking aspects of the SpaceX suit is its sleek, futuristic aesthetic. Dressed in pristine white, the design mirrors the minimalist elegance of the Dragon spacecraft, making astronauts look more like movie heroes than traditional space travelers. Of course, the SpaceX suit isn't just about style, it's engineered for function. It provides remarkable flexibility, eliminating the cumbersome balloon-like feel of older suits. Elon Musk himself once likened traditional suits to a balloon at a party, a sensation that Starman avoids entirely. Its advanced pressurization system is designed for maximum comfort and mobility, particularly at key joints like the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, hips, and knees. By enhancing the range of motion, the suit reduces the risk of injury, especially during high-stress movements in space. Unlike traditional designs with external valve systems, Starman integrates all essential functions – air circulation, energy supply, and pressure regulation – directly within the thighs. This streamlining reduces bulk while maintaining efficiency. The gloves are another standout feature, meticulously designed to ensure seamless interaction with Dragon's touchscreen interfaces, allowing astronauts to operate controls with ease. SpaceX's IVA suit received rave reviews during its first real-world test, the Crew Dragon Demo-2 mission, in 2020. Veteran NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, who had previously worn the bulky pumpkin suits of the Space Shuttle era, were impressed with the comfort and tailored fit of SpaceX's version. They described the suits as easier to put on and take off, especially in zero gravity. Hurley noted that since they were custom-fitted to each astronaut, maneuvering in microgravity felt effortless. Chris Trigg, SpaceX's spacesuits and crew equipment manager, emphasized that ease of use was a top priority in the suit's development. One of the things that was important in the development of the suit was to make it easy to use, something that the crew just literally has to plug in when they sit down, and the suit takes care of things from there. In terms of durability, SpaceX's suits are made from fire-resistant Kevlar and Nomex materials, providing essential protection against harsh flight conditions and potential emergencies. In contrast, Boeing's blue suit has undergone only a single real test. With greater experience, SpaceX has accumulated more data to refine and enhance its design, and further to evolve it to a more advanced version, EVA to go beyond low Earth orbit LEO, and support future deep space missions, SpaceX has developed a next-generation extravehicular activity EVA suit, a real game-changer in space travel. This new suit was first conceptualized in 2022, driven by a proposal from billionaire mission commander Jared Isaacman, sponsor of the Polaris Dawn program. The Polaris Dawn crew became the first to wear SpaceX's EVA suits in space, conducting a historic two-hour spacewalk in September while traveling at 17,500 miles per hour in an elliptical orbit of 190 by 700 kilometers above Earth. 
This marked a significant milestone for the Polaris program, which aims to push the boundaries of human spaceflight. To prepare for this moment, the Polaris Dawn crew collaborated with SpaceX engineers over two years, testing and refining the EVA suit's capabilities. It underwent hundreds of hours of testing, including pressure and vacuum chamber tests, validating the pre-breathe protocol and suit performance in near space conditions. Suit mobility testing, ensuring astronauts can move freely without restriction. Full vacuum capsule test. SpaceX even placed an entire Crew Dragon capsule inside a vacuum chamber, depressurizing it with four spacesuit simulators inside to mimic real space conditions. That all worked as expected, said Stu Keach, SpaceX's vice president of Dragon, adding, that's equivalent to the uncrewed Demo-1 flight of Crew Dragon in 2019. Unlike the IVA suit, SpaceX's EVA suit is designed for extended spacewalks and deep space exploration. It features greater mobility. New joint designs stay soft until pressurized, ensuring smooth movement. Improved thermal management regulates astronaut temperature for extreme space environments. Upgraded helmet includes a sun visor, built-in camera, and a heads-up display providing real-time suit status updates. SpaceX vehicle-grade materials, components from Falcon's inner stage and Dragon's trunk are incorporated into the suit for added durability. Advanced umbilicals provides life support and enables scalability for millions of future spacesuits to support SpaceX's vision of making life multiplanetary. With the success of SpaceX's EVA suit, it's clear that the company is laying the foundation for long-term human spaceflight. This suit represents just the beginning, as SpaceX refines its technology for Moon and Mars missions. Its spacesuit designs will evolve to meet the challenges of deep space exploration. From sleek, Hollywood-inspired Starman suits to rugged EVA designs built for the cosmos, SpaceX is revolutionizing the way astronauts experience space and taking us one step closer to the dream of becoming a multi-planetary species. So how about you? Boeing Blue Suit versus SpaceX Starman. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. Frankly, the development of the new spacesuit could not have taken place without the solid foundation of the space shuttle era. Space shuttle astronauts like Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore have witnessed firsthand the evolution of interior spacesuits over the decades. In the early 1980s, the first four shuttle missions, STS-1 through STS-4, used the Launch Entry Suit, LES, which was adapted from a high-pressure suit originally worn by U.S. Air Force pilots in the mid-1970s. However, for a brief period after these initial flights, NASA made the controversial decision to fly astronauts unsuited, a practice that ended in tragedy. The 1986 Challenger disaster, which claimed the lives of seven astronauts during ascent, changed everything. From that moment forward, NASA mandated the use of protective spacesuits for all shuttle missions. After Challenger, NASA returned to full-time spacesuit use, working with the David Clark Company, the same manufacturer that had built spacesuits for the Gemini program in the 1960s. From 1988 to 1994, shuttle astronauts wore a modified version of the original LES, still known for its distinctive bright orange color. This one-piece partial pressure suit used air-filled bladders that expanded between the astronaut's body and the outer layer, providing mechanical counterpressure to prevent decompression injuries. But while the LES offered protection, it lacked flexibility. That's why, in 1994, NASA began transitioning to a new generation of launch and entry suits. The result was the Advanced Crew Escape Suit, ACES, a full-pressure spacesuit that would serve every NASA-led space shuttle mission from STS-64 in 1994 through the program's retirement in 2011. ACES provided an airtight, body-shaped pressure envelope for full-body protection. Greater flexibility compared to the LES, making it more comfortable. 
improved emergency capabilities, allowing astronauts to move and react quickly in case of cabin depressurization or other failures. The ACES suit became synonymous with space shuttle launches, appearing in countless iconic images of astronauts preparing for their missions. Now a new generation of spacesuits is taking shape, designed not just for comfort and protection, but for a rapidly evolving era of human spaceflight. Companies like Boeing, SpaceX, and emerging space firms are developing sleeker, lighter, and more advanced spacesuits for modern missions.